good thing, and mm-hmm. uh, it, it makes total sense, but it's not something that I was taught growing up. You know where I learned it actually was in child psychology classes. Children don't understand the word no, and so when you repeat it at them, they don't. Uh, there's a certain age I can't remember because it's been. If Scott was here, he'd know. Kids don't understand what a no is or what a negative connotation is for years. And dogs are children, essentially. You just treat them like a fucking toddler forever. They don't understand negative, like negative reinforcement. Like earlier, remember when you were talking about like, do they still know they got a treat even if it doesn't come out of my hand? Like it, they don't think like us. It's like the dog part kicks in, you know, like yep. if that makes sense. Good night, Sidley. Good night, Lee. Oh, dude, your head's pounding, man. Maybe it's like weather changes. We're all getting headaches. Mine's subsided, thank God. Knock on wood. But you can talk. This is powder, so it's like. <laughs> Honestly, I would enjoy watching you two guys play Yahtzee. Oh my God, we're so like evil. Like Zeke is the evilest person in Game Over. That if we're playing like competitive games where I can actually be competitive, meaning I have a chance of winning, then that's all I want. Fuck everybody's feelings. Don't give a shit. And I am if you I'm a bad loser, I'm a worse winner. I prefer when you win. I'm terrible at winning. Because I'll win. I mean people have played People have played, uh, like, uh, use your words and drop it with me. Mm-hmm. And I just. I bathe. I bathe in being most vulgar every fucking time you ever talk to me. Is it vulgar or inappropriate? Is it vulgar? I think it's vulgar. I don't win. Oh, there's, to there's say. the um, funniest. Bronchiest, most offensive. Bronchiest, I think I always yeah, get. Yeah, there's um. You get, you get the dirty bird award. I'm not that dirty though. I don't. No knives. I'm not competitive in Mario Kart, so I don't fucking play it anymore. <gasps> oh my god, I love Mario Kart. Do you want to play with me? Oh. We could take acid and play Mario Kart. That would be amazing. I could do. That. Oh my god! Yes. Not that I condone illegal drugs in any way, shape, or form. Not that we have any acid. No. Nope. It's hydrochloric. Hydrochloric, what they use to make it? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? No, organic. I- I thought it was like chloro something. Chloro something. Or hydro- hydrochloric. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just remembering from Breaking Bad. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very good at chemistry. It's been many years. I don't want to pretend I, like, I still know chemistry. Hydrochloric really acid well. is, is always the acid I point to, or the acid I remember as being like the most like corrosive or whatever, but it's actually not. As corrosive as whatever they use to make or something. It's not our memory. I'm waiting for someone to say it. I'd expect the space levels just to be the most bizarre. I want to play the Rainbow Road on acid. Rainbow Road. That would be amazing. Sulfuric. Yeah, that looks better. It like matches your face. You need to stay just like that. Can you stay like looking at the mirror like that? Or looking at the camera just like you were? Glory to your hat. Do Klingons have a house? Yes. The house is, is, is it typically like- patriarchal or like it's they call it they call Worf son of Mo. Oh. His house is old. But like Anders' son? But it's, yes, kind of like that. Nickel's son. And, of. uh, yeah, they, they'll always call you son of or daughter of as part of your honorific. 
Um, but also that comes with comes with shitty like sins of the father bullshit. Like, oh, you adopt like the Moog, sins of your father. Yep, Moog, Worf's father, was framed for something that he didn't do, but everyone believed it, and dishonor was visited on the Moog house for seven generations. Whoa, no proof. However, or anything? well, that's a thing. Worf came back and was like, fuck that. Show you what really happened. I was going to say, I thought they were all about, like, honor and, you know, investigating. Are they yeah. not, like, an intelligent species? Is that why you like the Krogan's better? No, they're, in, they're, no, they're intelligent, but they're just they're just as susceptible to, to, like, espionage and, like, like people, like, lying for political gain. And yeah, shit false like truths. And... Yeah. So. Keep talking. Um, he came back and, and fucking showed the Klingon High Council, like, nope. Ed was fine. The Battle of um um um. Come on, help me out, Chad. The Battle of oh god, it's one of the most famous battles. Oh, artistic gypsy, thank you. Yeah, no, Gilgames. He did go or Gilgamesh. Excuse me, Gilgamesh. He did go on with a uh, go along with a lie because it saved lives for a while, but eventually he cleaned up the name. That is absolutely true. Um, yeah, because his brother came to uh, talk to him and his brother knew the truth and shit like that. Kittimer, thank you. Battle of Kittimer. And Moog was a traitor. He gave away, I think he gave away their the positions of their battlements or something like that to the enemy, to the Romulans. Ooh. And the Romulans just fucked him up. So he was uh, shamed for seven generations. Who framed him? Um. Oh God, I can't remember who did it. I thought it was it was. It's, I think it was some definitely someone on the High Council, but it was just like jockeying for position. Politics. Like, yeah, politics. Yeah. They were most about uh, self-serving, uh, politicking dirtbags like any other. Yep, Sage Baca. Exactly. The High Council were. It, I mean, it's just like, just like America. Like, it's the politicians, pre like, soldiers, yeah, America, military. Hey, will you go and uh, fight, uh, uh, like, for America if we give you a gun? No, fuck, are you fucking serious? Absolutely not. I'm a politician. Are you talking about our our, our dodge, our draft dodging? Well, I'm not talking about him specifically, but oh, I'm, t I'm t talking about more politicians as a whole. Like, no, 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 no. It's honorable and brave to be in the military and fight for your country. But I don't want to do it. You I go mean, ahead. The honorable I'll shit. I'll be right behind you. I kind of hate when people that aren't in the military <laughs> use that honorable shit because, like, talk to all the moms who have lost children to, like, the military. Do they feel honorable? Hmm. Like, if, if your kid dies in a bomb blast somewhere, do you feel, like, honor? That being said, I am so fucking thankful for every single person that gives their life to the government in any way, shape, or form, military-wise. So thank you so much. Just to be clear on that one. <laughs> Most people I know in the military are just like, what the fuck is job? It was an easy job to get, and you take it. For sure. Pull that. <gasps> Artistic Gypsy, I would fucking love that. I was just talking about that earlier. Like, there's so much freedom with painting somebody else's face because I can focus on the art and not, like, my face. And talking to chat and shit, like, Zeke helps a lot. And it helps that he's a streamer, obviously. And I, I wore that shirt on. Oh, for sure. These are all water. paint up there just for sick highlights so it's that way in a minute if anyone's freaking out this is not i did not put pink on his head to stay there it's just making it wet again it's all dry i'm having a hard time getting the colors all right let's do the beard a little bit while we wait for that to dry it looks pretty fucking good 
I mean... Are you fired up with the spirit of Kaelas? He wrestled his brother on the shore for seven full days. I don't know if that's really true, but... Do you think he looks good for real? All my all my Trekkie fans, do you think he looks good? Because I'm, I'm into I it. I don't know yeah, anything man. about Star Trek, so I, I'm like an outsider, but I think it, it looks like, good. Once it gets that, that, that hair thing... Oh, like, for sure. Halo, like, making the ridge pop. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. I think the nose helped a lot. I still have to do a little bit more to it, but it looks very nice. Okay, so you just want, like, a full beard. They don't have to have a button tops or something, right? Can they just have a beard? Yeah, uh, there's a picture I sent you. Another picture. The desk is a mess, my dudes. Um, oh, that's not him. He's not really old, but that's... Just look over here. Be like he's got like mostly a full beard they i think the klingon thing like as far as like they can't grow like lip hair or they shave it on purpose but don't fucking care. but yeah there's a oh god it's almost what like is the Asian name of someone inspired. who's on the klingon high council you're welcome sea oh. lion i hope you get a wonderful sleep Actually, time Duras. Klingon High Council. Gowron. Gowron's not old, though. Oh. We want someone who has, like, gray in their beard. <gasps> well. There we go. Come back. Play the Fire is such a good Kumpek game, by the way. Klingon. Cheers while he cling on, clings on over here. I love you, Sea Lion. He's an old fucking Klingon warrior, dude. Like, check it. That's who I'm talking about right there. Like, right, you can right. get some gray in that shit. He's been around forever. All right, look at me. Symmetry. Okay. Thanks, Hollow. I'm doing my best. I'm actually so relieved my headache didn't take over the day because I was very excited to do this today. And I was like, no, <laughs> this is not fucking happening. Not today. The uh, Artistic Gypsy, the, um, the fun and, and kind of strange part about doing this is that it's kind of like one of those, uh, like India, oh, like sand um, things where they do the sand uh, paintings and they go around in a circle. Mm -hmm. and they do like these little intricate sand and then they just sweep it away. It's kind of like this. This is like eight hours in the makeup chair, and then we just like take pictures and sweep it away. Fifteen minutes in the shower. But I mean, we're gonna keep the head ridges though. Yeah, I mean, the whole headpiece is gonna come off in one piece. A mandala, thank you, Sam Mandala, thank you. Gray. Headpiece gonna look like a sack. Yeah, but yeah, it looks kind of like a sack when it's on my head, but when it's off, that looks like a vagina. It's gonna be like a ball sack, like a like a ball sack with no ball in it. But it's cool. <laughs> like if I get it off, if I manage to get it off one piece, we can totally reuse it. So I was, I'm hoping I can gingerly get it off his head. 
Should be fine, though. I have a spirit gun, which dissolves any. And we shaved his head, so... We limited the, uh... Possibility of... The Teach that to my students. Make them throw away a drawing. It's mean, but it teaches them to let go. Ooh. Truth. Truth. You shouldn't cling on to things. Is it fucking break time already? Wow. Holy shit. I can't believe it's break time. Are you going to teach us what a pun is and how I'm not funny? No, puns is, pun is a technical thing. Being funny is anything. I was pretty funny. Ow. Sorry. It, it's fine if you grab a group of them, but it felt like you were pulling I was like, like two. one on the bottom. Yeah. yeah, I felt bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> My arms are tired. <laughs> Suffer for your art. Badass. Uh, Wait a minute. Where did fat ass come in? I just abuse. What myself. does that have anything to do with anything? I abuse myself when I'm be when I'm stressed. It helps me work better. My favorite Klingon is definitely Gowron. I love Gowron. He's so over the top. He just chews scenery whenever he's on on the screen. He's fucking way too loud and big, but I fucking love him. But my second one. Would not be Worf. Worf would probably be third. My second one is, I think it was General Chang from uh, Undiscovered Country. One played by the, um, the really prolific, famous, respected actor. So bad. I just remember him going, I have a... And let's slip the dogs of war. Oh. Christopher Plummer, thank you. It was him, like, he was having, like, a soldier duel. Like, Kirk. Like, old pirates. One-eyed Klingon. Oh. Is that a penis name? Martok. Oh, Martok was ripped horn, wasn't it? Oh, R.I.P. Oh, maybe not. Oh, J. J. G. Hertzler. Oh, never mind. Oh, totally different guy. Never mind. But yeah, Martok. He's great. Yeah, General Chang, this guy. Oh, hell They both yeah. had one eye, which is funny. Mm -hmm. General Chang had one eye, too. I'm going to call your dick one-eyed Klingon from now on. Is that cool? Yeah, as long as you just say it in your head and don't say it in public. Call me. Is my, is my beard, like, done or not? Mm -mm, yeah. I'm hairspraying. I'm waiting to look. Until I it's know. Done. I kind of love that I'm torturing you because I'm making it better and better. I would pay real money for him to shut up. Fucking McCoy, dude. I love McCoy. And I loved um, the new actor's turn as McCoy. Fucking, he was the best part of the, the, the reboot or the prequel of Star Trek. He's also a good um, butcher in this. And Carl Urban. Carl Urban. He was really good as Dredge. And the funny thing is, I think I like both Dredge movies the same amount. Vastly different. Really? Yeah. I mean, they're completely different movies, but I really enjoy the campiness. I am the law! Like fucking Sylvester Stallone. The seriousness of Carl Urban. Yeah. Peace Trees. Tree of the. A 
blah, and thank fuck something other than Cyberpunk to watch. Uh, you are not the first person to say that today. <laughs> I'm, I get that shit all the time. Mm -hmm. I love it. Neither like of us play of new releases. I do. I do. But I don't get hype about many. Yakuza is one of those ones where I'm like, I don't give a fuck if anybody watches. Cyberpunk, I can. I haven't, like, there's no draw for me. Now, if it was, like, medieval fantasy and I could ride a unicorn, we'd have a different conversation. But the <laughs> unicorn always ends up a dildo or something. I am ready for battle, Nick Tastic. Ready for battle for you. With you. Oh, bitch, what? Mentioning you watch another stream. There are other streamers besides me and her. Before her, I was the only streamer. It's true. And I only got here because I suck his dick. Everyone knows I social climbed this shit. Yeah, she fucked her way to the bottom middle. For real, like, we have <laughs> nothing in common. Um. Yeah, I've got nothing. <laughs> this is just a convenience. I've never seen your beard look thin, but having dark hair, like, or having darker skin makes your beard look thin. It's mm. funny. Because the hair is, like, lighter than the reddish tone on your skin. It's not black, I swear to God. Nick, it's okay. You don't have to justify your poor taste. I know you like Cole more than me, but, you know, Cole needs Who likes anyone kinds, more than Co? Like, that guy's rolling in subs. It's constantly. And him and I started around the same time. Like, fuck me. <laughs> I told my stream earlier, I'm like, that's what you get for not being me. Don't do this. Success and love, admiration, a wife. Well, I mean, I mean, I got the wife. Yeah, here I am. Hi. Uh, starting, the, starting from the bottom, we still here. <laughs> we just fucking crawling around in a circle, no, I, bitches. No, like, I can, like, my, uh, my Twitch career has been, like, um, I want to say, like, gold. Like, just steadily getting, steadily more and more valuable. Never read it really any huge jumps, like, steadily up. And like plateau up a little bit more, plateau. but I haven't had a real downturn. I'm extremely grateful. Almost. What happened to my paintbrush? Oh, it's in the thing. I kicked over here. It's got to be on the list for a CD Ramathon. Well, Nick Tasking, glad you mentioned that. I don't have a list. I have what people have sent me, and what like a few of them that I purchased myself. But my CD Ramathon is based almost 100% on what people send me. My YouTube. I have a lot. How many do you usually get through in a month? In the past? Some of them take I a couple days. I think that's pretty reasonable. Some take a, like four or five days. Mm -hmm. But more, of, more often than not, it's like one to two days yeah. per CD ROM con. Or per CD ROM. Depending on the kind of game. I think that's If it's fair. like a point and click game, it takes a bit longer because that's the one behind. But if it's just like an FMV game or something like that. Oops. I'm hoping you'll get the to the one I sent. Hollow Cryptic, which one do you send? Don't be don't be cryptic about it. Oh. <laughs> oh I forgot that. Return to Ring World. 
people like to watch you in pink? I'll probably have to. I played Ring World last year, right? I, oh, I put it in the chat. Persona's burned into my soul forever. I'm gonna. What, the same one? No. Oh, thank God. I played different ones every time. Five Royale? P5 took me 200 something hours. This last one took me 120, 30, whatever. Next one is going to be P3 uh, FES. I don't know what it is. I think they remastered it, right? Mm. They remastered Persona 5 Royale. No, they did. Oh, the battle, battle music. Two or three battle songs, or two or three like idol songs, like, but given the location, but the actual style of music. I think there's a running theme, but it's it's a lot like different types of music. Mm -hmm. But the soundtrack in and of itself is fucking. Yeah, they added a full character to the story, uh, and you play it from the beginning again to get all the shit, blah blah blah. But I am not willing to for like at least not this year. Next question for both of you. It'll be like writer strike, like game video game writer strike or artist strike or something like that. It's like, well, time for royal. <laughs> yeah. You were getting clapped earlier with DMCA for cyberpunk music. Yeah, even with their copyright DMCA free shit, they had one song in there that people were getting dinged on. Seriously? Yep. Did they get live? They sent out a press release and they sent out emails. I even got one email saying, "Hey, we left one in. Sorry." Sorry about your livelihood being taken. Good luck. Well, you need three strikes. They were pretty. I mean, it's day one. They're pretty on top of it, so. <clears throat> And they're working to fix it, like, take it out of that process. I'm just happy that I don't have to fucking do streamer mode or any of that shit. I play it because I'm just hanging out. Mm -hmm. And I am going to take, like, at least two hours, if not three, designing my character. Well, no shit. When Code tweeted that, I was like, why do you even play this game? Dude, like, I mean, that's why my immediate reaction was like, you guys think I'm going to spend hours on character creation. I just want to jump in. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing playing these games? Yeah. I want to gatekeep them so bad. Be like, you're not a real fucking gamer. You don't like RPGs, do you? That's because he's <laughs> in it. He's in it. Uh -uh. No, it's, I, honestly, like, I bag on Cole a lot. He is a gamer. He's just, he wants to get, he, he's more of a gameplay gamer. And I'm more of a sink into it story gamer. I'm more of a get stoned and look at the scenery and go, oh my god, pretty, and then never finish. True. So true. I swear to god, it's just because this middle part makes you look like a Hitler a little bit. I'm trying to tone it down. It looks very black. Why did you look like Because they didn't have anything in the middle. Oh, you're trying to make it look invisible? No, just like not gray there. Dude has a full, full motherfucking mustache. Oh, bitch. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Dude has a full ass mustache, so you don't need to, like, make it look. Oh, thank you. I think that's just the fashion. Maybe it's the new Klingons that do that. Like, that's the fashion. Maybe he's the only one allowed to have it. He's special. Let's not look like Hitler. Can you, like, take a comb and, like... Yes, absolutely. Do that. 